We will be looking at um, simple factory design pattern as a warm up for our uh, actual factory method design pattern. So, at some places, simple factory is not even considered a warm uh, our design pattern. Uh, so, let's look at this uh, statement car car is equal to new hatchback. So, we are creating a new uh, hatchback object so uh, and assigning it to the car reference hatchback is basically the child of car so hatchback is basically uh, in real world hatchback is a small car with uh, without any extended boot and uh, it is meant for uh, seating four or five people and okay so we must use these kind of statements so uh, we can't avoid these kind of statements because we want to create some objects in our code so we can't avoid these statements so these are necessary why these are bad why new is bad let us see now okay so uh, we don't want to create a hatchback class instead we have uh, kept three boolean variables hatchback sedan and suv and uh, these if hatchback boolean is true then only we create a hatchback otherwise if sedan boolean is true we create a sedan otherwise if suv boolean is true we create a suv okay so these booleans um, help us to decide which of the cars to create okay so let's consider a simple method in our business class so this is the order car method um, it basically takes a string type and if the type so instead of booleans we take this string now and if that type is equals to uh, hatchback type string is hatchback then we create a hatchback if sedan we create a sedan if suv we create a suv and here is our car reference uh, to which we are assigning the object after the object is created uh, we call car dot press car dot weld car dot paint and car dot test these are the typical steps uh, in a car workshop so uh, when we order a car first a new car will be created and then these steps will be uh, performed on that car and finally we return that car object the new car which is formed so order car method will uh, basically make a new car for you so this essentially is the varying part why this is the varying part let's say tomorrow um, our workshop stops producing uh, sedan and suv um, or maybe as we can see in this page let's say we stop uh, producing hatchbacks and sedans and started mpv so we have to uh, add this statement for mpv if type dot equals mpv car is equal to new mpv mpv basically uh, implies multi-purpose vehicle um, so in that case we want to remove this thing hatchback we have stopped sedan we have stopped so these this and this will be gone these two lines of code and suv will be there and one this uh, mpv will be there yeah so basically this is the varying part of our code this vary um, depending on which all cars we are producing right and open closed principle says we should uh, have our code open for extension we could add more classes to our code that is good we could uh, inherit our code into new classes that is very good but we should not open the existing source code files and change them so if you have not seen this open close principle this is uh, the o in the solid and i have created a separate video please look at that um, so basically this is uh, bad so we should not uh, write such code in our business classes so where should we write this code we should have separate classes for this code so uh, or some separate place where we we can write this code so 
first of all we see this approach the separate class approach so we have a uh, separate class which is called simple factory simple car factory class we have the create car method and this basically has the uh, logic for if type equals sedan we create a sedan if uh, type equals hatchback we create a hatchback type equals suv we create suv and we then return the car okay so this is the create car method it is having the varying part that is this part of the code car dot press car dot well car dot paint test these things we any anyhow we have to do these after the, the car object is uh, we have got the car object right so these things will not change so these things we can uh, retain them in the business class itself but these things we can move to a separate class which is our simple car factory class which is here okay so let's rework our card store it will now our card store will have a simple car factory class says uh, classes reference and um, this is its basic constructor which just uh, yeah, initializes it its reference and uh, basically uh, there is an order car method in which uh, we have a car reference we first call the we first ask our factory to create a car of the given type for us the type has been uh, passed by one who calls this order car method so like the client will specify this uh, type so cl client will say car store dot order car brackets c done so we whatever type we get from the client we as it is pass it to the factory and factory will uh, basically as you have seen factory based on this type will decide and create the a new car and return it to you okay and basically um, as we have seen in liskov substitution principle this car reference is uh, sufficient to point to any of its uh, childs so one of its child will be ret uh, returned basically and um, it can be pointed to by a car reference and after we got the car we perform this press weld paint and test activities on it and finally we have we are done with our final car product and we return it to the client so basically um, even if our um, company stops producing um, sedans and uh, hatchbacks let's say then only then also uh, we have to change in the factory class only the business class where the actual business logic is written the press weld all these actual methods are being called these need not uh, change so uh, this is basically uh, in other words you can see this is as we have seen in interface segregation principle when a single interface has a uh, becomes bloated with a lot of concerns we divide it into uh, two interfaces okay so uh, these are uh, basically the um, st steps uh, basically the same idea we are having here so um, when this business class is doing two things creating the objects as well as performing actions on them so we can delegate the creating the objects part to a new class which is the simple factory class so uh, they have done that and uh, let's now quickly look at the class diagram which is very simple car store will talk to the factory uh, this uh, talking to the factory and it will actually create the car object for it which is uh, which can be any one of them so it is inherited by all four thank you friends